I'm going to demonstrate how to connect Promax to the Microsoft SQL database. The first thing you want to do is create your SQL database. Before doing anything else in Promax, I'm going to minimize Promax. I'm going to open up my SQL database. This one I'm using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio or SSMS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on databases. I'm going to click new database. I'm going to name that. New. Database. Say OK. Now that I have the new database. I'm going to go find it and click on it. New database. Next. I need to add my Promax tables to this database. You can do it manually or you can contact us to get the script that will do it automatically. I have the script right here. All I need to do is drag it in here and drop it. And this right here contains all the information and the code down here at the bottom to create the script. All I need to do is click right here where it says execute. Once I do that, it tells me it was done successfully. And if I click here, I can go to my tables and I can see that my tables have been created. The next step, I need to create my groups. If I click right here, right click and go to edit all rows. I can now create my groups. I need to give it an ID, which is a number. And then I need to give it a description. I'm going to call this one. Plant A. I can get have as many groups as I want in here. For this demonstration, I'm only going to do one group. Next, I'm going to go to variable names. I right click on that one and click edit all rows. I'm going to associate this one with group one. I need to give my variable a number as well. I'm going to give that one a number of one. Now I'm going to name my variable. For this one, I'm going to say my gas. T for gas temperature. Next, I have pro property type. This one is going to be a zero and that is going to be a zero because if I go off of my script over here in the very beginning, I scroll down, talks about variable names. A zero equals a P double. There are other types. Of values I can have in there as well. Just make sure you choose the right one. And then put it in here under property type. Next, I'm going to give it units for this one. I'm going to do Fahrenheit. Then I'm going to do another variable. This one's still going to be associated with that first group. Name name ID on this one has to be a different number, so I'm going to give it a number of two. Name for it, I'm going to say gas P for gas pressure. This one's also going to be a P double, so I'm going to give it a zero here. Units will be PSIG. And that's the all the basics that I need to do on the database side. I also will need to create a DSN as well, and I'm going to go through that when we get to that part. So I'm going to put this one aside for now, and I'm going to go back into my Promax model. Let's say that I want to send two values from my HP gas here, my temperature and my pressure to my SQL database. Well, first what I need to do is click up here on data exchange. Under source list, I need to choose add source. Then I choose ODBC and I'm going to name it SQL. And click OK. Next, I'm going to double click on that source name. And I need to give it a connection string. If you know it, you can just put it in there. If not, then you can go create a DSN right here. I'm going to click select data source. 
and I'm going to click new here. I'm going to choose the driver that I'm going to use. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to just going to choose the newest driver. Click next. I'm going to browse on where I'm going to save it. Click browse. I'm going to put it on my desktop and call it the new or new DSN there. Click save. Okay, go to next. Finish. Now I'm going to describe it and call it new database. The server, you want to make sure you get this one right. So my server for my SQL database is J Slagle. SQL Express. You do next. I'm not going to add any more security for it. Go to next. But I am going to change the default database. I have a lot of databases, so I'm going to click check this box here. And I'm going to do the drop down. I'm going to go down to new database. Then I'm going to click next. And finish. I can test it. Completed successfully. OK, OK. Now I can go find it. It should be under desktop. And there it is. Say OK. And now I have my connection string here. One easy way to double check to make sure you have the right one here is to scroll all the way to the right. And make sure at the very, very end here, it has the name of your database. New database. That's right. I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to close this window. And I'm going to go to the value that I want to export. I want to export my temperature and my pressure here and my gas. So I'm going to double click on my HP gas. I'm going to right click on my temperature. Go to data exchange. Export SQL. Going to name it. Gas T. It doesn't have to be the same name as you've written anywhere else. It's unique. Now I'm going to go to my variable group. I've only created one group, so it's plant A here. Gas T. I'm going to match the Promax units here. And OK. That one's been added. Now I'm going to do my pressure. I'm going to right click on my pressure. Data exchange, export, SQL. Name it, gas P. Variable group, plant A. And the variable is gas P here. Match Promax units, say OK. And now, I close this, click Execute Flow Sheet. That should execute for me now. Now those should have been exported over to my SQL database. Pull open my SQL database again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my new database and just refresh it. Now I'm going to go to my tables. And I'm going to go to run details, right click on that one. And I'm going to go to select top 1000 rows. And right there I have both of my values. I have my temperature, which is 119.82. I can double check that here. 119.82. And my pressure is 500 PSIG. Sure enough, over here in my SQL database now, it is 500 PSIG. Now you have successfully connected your SQL database to your Promax model. Every time you click execute over here in your Promax ribbon bar now, it will send those values, whatever the most updated values are, over to your SQL database for storage.